Michigan is home to 15 tornadoes each and every year. So far in 2024, we have 14, so right on par with average. Much like in our last video, if you caught the top 10 Michigan tornadoes of the 2000s, we're going to rank the tornadoes of 2024 from least impactful to most impactful and hopefully give you some insight as to what kind of tornadoes have happened in the state. You may be shocked at how many of these were significant this year. Now, given that we're making this video about the most recent tornadoes, we're not going to have the full economic impact numbers for quite some time. So some of these do have estimates, while others and the majority of these do not. So much like last video, we're going to rank these similar to economic impact, injuries, fatalities, path width and length, and overall intensity of these. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into number 14 and count this all the way back to the number one most impactful tornado of Michigan in 2024. At number 14, we have the Cass City EFU tornado. It occurred May 17th, 2024. EFU is a rating that is utilized when tornadoes don't do much in the way of any damage. So you can't rate the wind speeds, but we know it existed via video, picture, or even path through like cornfields or through the woods, for example. So this one was rated EFU, though strength, width, and length of path is completely unknown, but we do have confirmation from multiple spotters as well as our viewer, Tanya, who sent the photo here on your screen in. That was your land spout. If you zoom in there, you can see it quite well. At number 13, we have the Rapson EF0 tornado. This occurred July 5th, 2024 in Huron County, which is in the Thumb of Michigan. Max wind speeds reached 75 miles per hour. It was 25 yards wide and on the ground for under a quarter mile in length. Very brief, very weak spin up. What we call a bird fart tornado here in Michigan. We get a lot of those. There are no injuries, no fatalities, and the damage was confined to some fields and some wooded areas, so there is no dollar amount on the economic damage for this tornado. Enjoy the video here. We did get a viewer sent this in to us. It is of the area of interest. You can't really see much of anything in the video, but enjoy it. At number 12, we have our Ross Common EF0 tornado. Max wind speeds, 80 miles per hour. Max width was about 90 yards, and it was on the ground for just over a quarter mile. There was some damage with this one, $21,000 in total, and it did hit a golf course up in Ross Common area. This occurred June 5th, 2024. At number 11, we have the Camden EF0 tornado. This occurred September 24th, 2024, had a max strength of 65 miles per hour, making it the weakest tornado of the year so far. Max width was 50 yards and path length was only a tenth of a mile, making it the shortest tornado as well. Damage on this tornado was confined to a few barns in the Camden area. At number 10, we have the Union Lake EF1 tornado. This occurred May 7th, 2024. Max wind speeds were 95 miles per hour. It was about a football field wide at 100 yards on the ground for about a mile. No injuries, no fatalities, and damage was not yet known. It did hit a barn, and that is the only damage this one tornado ended up doing. This tornado occurred in Branch County. I'll make a quick note here to say we do have two Union Lakes in Michigan, one in Branch and one in Oakland counties. Well, this one occurred in Branch County, so do not get it confused. At number nine, we have the widest tornado of the year at 950 yards. This is a Dwajak EF1 tornado, occurred May 7th, 2024. It was on the ground for about 12 miles with a max wind speed of 95 miles per hour. No injuries, no fatalities, but it did cause quite a bit of damage to both property and to trees. The economic damage impact is not yet known, but we will have estimates in the coming months. At number eight, we have the Gladwin County EF1 tornado that occurred June 22nd, 2024. Max wind speeds were 90 miles per hour with this one. Path width was about 200 yards on the ground for just over 10 miles. No injuries, no fatalities, and estimated damage with this one is about $100,000. 
At number seven, we have the Lake George EF1 tornado. It occurred July 5th, 2024 with max wind speeds of 95 miles per hour on the ground for 12 miles and had a 75 yard width. No injuries, no fatalities, and the estimated economic impact is roughly 2 million in total damage. We do have some video from a viewer who sent this in to us early in the year, so enjoy this clip. You gotta get to safety, Grandma. At number six, we have our very first tornado of the year back on February 28th, an EF1 tornado, and it was rated with 110 mile per hour wind speed, so just one mile per hour shy of EF2 status on the ground for five and a half miles with a max width of three football fields wide at 300 yards. Estimated economic impact is roughly 1 million and there are no injuries and no fatalities reported with this tornado. At number five, we have our Three Rivers EF2 tornado. It occurred August 6, 2024. Max wind speeds were 115 miles per hour, a pretty wide one at 700 yards, and on the ground for eight and a half miles. No injuries and no fatalities with this one. Economic damage impact is not yet known, but there was some structural and some crop damage, so I'm gonna assume it's probably in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. At number four, we have the Grand Blank EF2 tornado. It occurred February 28, 2024. On the ground for 5.7 miles, max width was 450 yards. Max wind speeds were at 115 miles per hour, making it a very low end EF2. The highlight of this tornado was destroying a warehouse. The impact economically is roughly just north of $1 million. At number three, we have the Livonia EF1 tornado. It occurred June 5th, 2024. It was a weak one at 95 miles per hour, but it was a wide one at 450 yards. On the ground for five and a half miles, there were two injuries, and unfortunately, there was one fatality. The economic damage is not yet known. However, it did not do too much in the way of any structural damage, so it's going to be on the low end, probably under 100000 in total. We have a separate video dedicated to the Livonia Tornado breaking down the radar presentation. If you want to check that out, link is right here. At number two, we have the Colin Sherwood EF2 Tornado. It occurred May 7, 2024. Max wind speeds were 130 miles per hour. A wide one, 950 yards, almost a thousand yards, it's 10 football fields, almost 10 football fields wide, on the ground for almost 20 miles. Had one injury and luckily no fatalities. The damage from this tornado is estimated in the millions. We're not going to know the estimated impact until we get official word. This tornado takes number two because it was a strong wide tornado. It was the first ever tornado emergency issued in the state of Michigan. At number one on the list, we have the Portage EF2 tornado that occurred May 7, 2024. This tornado takes the number one spot as it was most impactful in terms of strength, injuries, and economic damage. The wind speeds topped 135 miles per hour, making it one mile per hour shy of EF3 status. It was 300 yards wide, on the ground just under 11 miles, with 12 total injuries and luckily no fatalities. The total damage estimates are roughly 50 million, although that's not a final number. It will continue to be upgraded and adjusted as we gain more information and move into next year. Big shout out to you guys for watching all the way through this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to smash the like button for us. And if you have ideas or feedback, feel free to drop a comment below. Stay tuned for more videos like this. We'll be breaking down more Michigan tornadoes in the future.